you guys, we have a chest and shoulder workout for you today. You're gonna need your stability ball for a few of these exercises in circuit number one, all right? So grab your ball and some weights. We're gonna start with a chest press or a bench press on the ball, okay? So start by sitting on the ball. Walk your feet out so that the ball is under your upper back. And you can even rest your head on the ball, okay? And hips stay up. Don't let those hips sag down towards the floor, okay? And we're basically just gonna be doing a bench press. So let's go for 12, and here we go, push it up. So when you're doing this, you guys, I don't want your elbows directly out from your, from your shoulders. I want them actually tucked under, just a hair. Okay, this is gonna take some of the tension off of your shoulders and isolate your chest a little bit more. Also, I mean, you do kind of work the front of your shoulders in a bench press, but it's gonna kind of take the, gonna take the risk of hurting your shoulders down a little bit, if that makes sense. So you're just kind of, instead of bringing it right out like this, you're just kind of tucking your shoulder, or your elbows just a little bit. Good. And last one. Okay, stay here, don't get up. Bring those palms facing in, and we're gonna go right into flies. Okay, for 12 here. So on your flies, I don't think we've done flies yet, uh, your elbows are gonna be soft. Okay, you're not straight, you're not um, locking those elbows out like this. They're gonna be nice and soft. And you're basically just bringing your hands together and out. Together and out. You want your, you wanna bring them down so that they're about in line with your shoulders. Maybe not quite that low, but almost there. Getting a good stretch through your chest. Okay, two more. And last one. Perfect, okay, walk those feet in. Set your weights down. We're actually gonna do push-ups with our feet on the ball. Now, if that sounds scary to you, don't let it be scary. It's actually not that hard. Not as hard as it sounds, okay? So, feet are on the ball, hands on the floor. You want this, Caitlin? Okay, there you go. So the higher the ball is on your legs, you guys, the easier it is. So if push-ups are still really hard for you, you can walk those hands in closer to the ball. So the ball's higher on your legs. Okay, we're gonna go for 12 push-ups. You ready? And here you go. Keep that core nice and tight. Good. So if the ball is under your shins, like it is for Kaylin, that's gonna be harder. Okay, the ball can be up under your thighs and even your hips, okay, to make it a uh, modification. Good. Okay, three more. Now three more, sorry, three. And, oh, <laughs> I just got way off on that. Okay, good job, you guys. All right, for our cardio, we are gonna be doing like the ultimate of all burpees. Yeah, it's gonna be that cool. We're just doing five though, you're gonna need some weights, okay? So go ahead and grab your weights. Okay, let's show them what we're doing. First, you're gonna start out by putting your hands down, hop your feet out, push up, hop your feet in, and jump up with the weights, and then overhead press. Okay, that's the whole thing. So it's a push up, full of warpy with the jump, and an overhead press, okay? You ready for this? We're only doing five, okay? And here we go. Jump your feet out, jump, push up, jump it in, jump up, and overhead press. Good, back down. A lot of jumping, jump out, push up, jump in, jump up, and press. Good, three more. Good, push up, jump it in, jump it up, and press. Two more. Good, jump in, jump up, and press. Last one, you guys, you are doing so awesome. Jump it in, jump it up, and press. How you feeling? Good. Good. A little tired. <laughs> Good. Okay, you guys, grab a drink, take a 60 second rest, and then we're gonna do that one more time.
All right, guys, so we're gonna repeat that, okay? So grab your ball and grab some weight. If you feel you can feel like you can handle a little bit heavier, for set number two, I want you to go a little heavier. We're still gonna be doing the 12 reps again, though, okay? Okay, starting with our chest press. Remember, hips stay up, keep that core tight, and here we go for 12. Good. So you're bringing the weights down, so your elbows are a little bit lower than your shoulders, okay? And you bring them together up above your face. Don't drop them. <laughs> Don't drop them right on your pretty face. <laughs> Good, you guys. Okay, we're going for 12. How many more? This is nine. That's nine. Okay, three more. Good. Two. And last one. Okay, flip those hands in without rest. Let's go right into our flies. Good, for 12. 11, keep that core tight, hips stay up, squeeze through the glutes. Because why, Caitlin, if we don't squeeze them? No one else, no one else will, that's right. Good. Okay, how many more? Four more. And three, good. Two, and last one. Good, you guys, let's go right into our push-ups. Feet on the ball. If those felt a little bit too easy last time, I want you to walk your hands away from the ball a little bit. If they were a little bit too hard and you couldn't quite finish all 12, you can walk your hands a little bit closer to the ball, okay? All right, Caitlin, are you ready? Okay, and here we go for 12. Keep that core nice and tight, you guys. What I don't wanna see, I don't want your legs on the ball and your hips sagging down towards the floor so that you're like arching through your lower back. I don't want you to do that, okay? Good, core nice and tight, keep your hips up. Good. Three more. Two, and last one, great job. Okay, we've got our hardcore burpees with everything we could possibly think of to add. No, I could think of more. Should I try and think of like the ultimate burpee? Do you think? Okay, I'll try and think of like the most amazing burpee we can possibly do with everything in it for later. Okay, you guys ready? And here we go, weights down, hop it out, push up, and hop your feet in. Jump it up and press. Good, again. Good, push up, jump it in. Jump up as high as you can and press. Good, keep up the tempo, you guys. This is cardio, okay? You wanna get your heart rate up right here. And press, good. This is three, four, okay. And press. One more time. Good push up right here. Jump it in, jump it up, and press. Nice job. That was our chest circuit. Our next one is gonna be more shoulder focused, okay? So go grab a quick drink and then come right back. Hey you guys, so we're gonna do our shoulders now. First up, we're gonna start with a front press, okay? This is a little different than a shoulder press. You're gonna hit the more the front of your shoulder instead of um, the, the over the top of it. So your elbows are gonna be in front and you're gonna push straight up and then down. We're gonna go for 12, okay? And here we go. Push it up, down, up, down, good. So when you're doing this, you guys, I want your elbows to come a little bit lower than your shoulders, okay? Make sure your elbows are in front of your shoulders, right in line with them. You should be feeling this along the front. Is that where you feel it? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, two. Last one, good. Okay, we're gonna do a technique called 21s. 
gonna do it with lateral raises. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do seven bottom half, okay, only coming halfway up. Then we're gonna do seven top half, only coming halfway down, and then seven full. So what I want you to do, if these get too hard, because this is gonna be kinda hard, I think, I want you to drop the weights and just make good hard fists with your hands. That'll keep all the tension up into your arms. Okay, you ready for this? Okay, ready? And seven bottom half, here we go, seven. Make sure those elbows are slightly bent, okay? Not locked out. Just a little bit bent. Good. Last one. Now up, halfway down. When you're doing this, you guys, don't let your shoulders come up by your ears, okay? Try and keep them low. Yeah, we don't wanna do that. <laughs> keep your traps out of it. Good, now seven full. Here we go. Seven, six. Good, shoulders down, not up like this. Okay, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys, that was hard, huh? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do some tricep kickbacks now. Okay, nice flat back, bend it forward. Okay, you're here, elbows come up high, and we're gonna push it back for 12. Here we go, back and in back. Okay, so elbows stay high, okay? I don't want them to come down low in between each rep. Good, squeeze them. You want to squeeze to the back of your arms right here. And squeeze. Good. Good, you guys, let's go three more. Really push it back and squeeze. And two. Last one. Great job, you guys. Okay, for our cardio, we're gonna do two push-ups, four mount, five mountain climbers each leg, four times. Got it? Okay, come on down to plank on the floor. These are quick push-ups, okay, this is our cardio. You ready, Caitlin? Okay, two push-ups, here we go. One, two, five mountain climbers. And there's one round, one. Two push-ups, five mountain climbers. Good, you guys, four times, you're halfway there. Push-ups push-ups and mountain climbers. Good, and push-up. We're actually gonna finish this up with a 20 second plank, okay? So right here, come down onto your elbows if you want and hold the plank 20 seconds. How you feeling, Caitlin? Good. Good, keep that core nice and tight, you guys. Draw that belly button in towards your spine. We have about seven seconds left, five, Three, two, and you are done. How was that circuit? Did you like it? Yeah, that was a good one. Good, okay, take a quick drink and we're gonna do that one more time. All right, you guys, we're gonna repeat that, okay? So go off of how the weights felt to you last time. If they felt a little bit too easy, I want you to bump it up. Make sure you're challenging yourself with the weights you're using, okay? If you're using fives or threes and it just feels so easy, it's worth the money to go get a set of heavier weights, okay, if you don't have one already. Okay, front presses, ready? Let's bring it up and let's go for 12. Here we go. Good. Counting backwards, here's eight, seven. Good, you guys, five more. Okay, two more right here. And last one, good. Let those weights hang for a minute. Shake out those shoulders, give it a little shimmy. <laughs> 
and lateral raise 21s. Ready? Go ahead and give a slight bend to those elbows first. And here we go, halfway up for seven, six, good. This should still feel pretty easy, kind of like our little warm up, right? It's the second set that gets really hard. And last one. Now bring it all the way up and halfway down, seven. I feel like a bird. Do you? <laughs> Let's just fly away. Three, two, one. Now seven full. Here we go, seven. Whew. Good, you guys, keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Okay, tricep kickbacks. So go ahead and bend it forward, flat back, elbows up, and here we go for 12, push it back. Good, you guys, if this feels too easy, one thing you can do to make it a little bit harder is twist your hands, okay? So when your weights come back, instead of keeping your palms facing in, I want you to twist so your palms are facing up, right there, and squeeze. Good. Okay, one more, guys. Right here, last one. Perfect. Okay, stand it up. All right, we've got our cardio, and we're gonna keep that plank on there at the end. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, we've got our two push-ups, five mountain climbers, four times, then a plank, okay? And here we go, two push-ups. One, two, five mountain climbers. Five, four, three, two, one, two push-ups. Good, mountain climbers. Good, you guys, keep going, you're halfway there. Five, I mean two, <laughs> now five. Good, two push-ups. Five mountain climbers, go quick. These are the best ones you can ever give me possibly. Possibly the best ones ever and into your plank. Give me the best plank ever. This is the best workout ever, you guys. You're doing so awesome. 15 seconds left. Good, keep holding. Keep holding, keep that core nice and tight. 10 seconds. Good. And five, four, three, two, and relax. You guys are awesome. We only have two more workouts left of our 15 day challenge. So we're coming up on the end. You guys finish this out strong for me, okay? Caitlin and I will see you guys tomorrow.